instead of burning our property down, instead of burning the cars of an innocent person, you know, on the street in, in mere anger, you know. And so I would prefer, and I ask, that we return to sanity and that these activities cease because if they aren't seized and if we do not adopt a rational solution to the problems before us, we're only participating in our own inevitable failure by ignoring, again, the only thing that can save us. Only the truth can set us free. And as we've said, you know, many times over, there is one solution to these issues, which are inherently both political and monetary, because the crime would never be imposed upon us if it weren't for a subversion of authority and representation. Um, not only an original one, but a persistent subversion or usurpation of representation to this very time. So it's only by recognizing all these issues that uh, will solve them. <clears throat> so now, the the further answers to this poll uh, that was, you know, has been recently, you know, raised at WorldNet Daily, uh, were uh, Tea Partiers. <clears throat> well, the Tea Party has purportedly been hijacked uh, by people who intend to deny us solution and whether or not that's true <clears throat> nonetheless I can say something that is true about the Tea Party and that is that even while they, there is no one in the Tea Party who has ever disproven mathematically perfected economy, and there's no alternate solution which solves the issues. <clears throat> the Tea Party, while complaining about the consequences of this root problem, which is solved by mathematically perfected economy and mathematically perfected economy only, the Tea Party has never responded to me. Nor have they contacted me. If they wanted to put someone into office who was going to solve our issues, at least they would contact me. They might find that I'm totally unworthy of, you know, um, uh, of, 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 you know, a, a position in government which, uh, which, which uh, can and would be at least empowered to lead effectively but at least evaluate mathematically perfected economy. I mean, it's the most plagiarized material in the world today, you know. So where is the Tea Party if it hasn't been hijacked? <clears throat> the next possible solution, which ties in number of votes, six out of 2,835, is Republicans in Congress. Well, you know, as we go through these, each of these answers, each and every one of these answers, to give it is to be at fault yourself. Now, Republicans in Congress, yes, they can be blamed. Why? Because none of them are standing for solution. None of them will even respond to mathematically perfected economy. My own Republican representatives in Congress and Democrat representatives in Congress have never once and they've received dozens of mails and submissions of forms. None of them have ever even responded. And this is, you know, excuse me, it, it's an incredibly remarkable thing. Um, somebody sent me some material about Sarah Palin once again, just yesterday or the day before and, and uh, once again even though a few months ago I'd written Sarah Palin at Sarah Pack, you know I wrote Sarah Palin again and all I get of course is an automated reply 
from uh, Sarah Peck that you know my 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 email form has been received that's it you know and of course <clears throat> will I ever hear from Sarah Palin well, I've, I've, I haven't ever before never once and there's no telephone number to call somebody and say you know I mean I, I've even called her her family I've talked to her father you know and he was sidestepping the whole thing which I can understand he probably gets a, a million phone calls which are preposterous but one offering mathematically perfected economy to a, a, a daughter who's potentially running for president and he refuses to run that through to you know the right channel you know I mean I'm sorry that's that's incredibly irreverent and irresponsible incredibly incredibly you know our next uh, possibility is Wall Street seven people voted for Wall Street so you can see from the low number of votes votes that were <clears throat> we're going to be blaming you know that the voters have blamed you know uh, have concentrated in a in a, a, a relatively um, you know few answers the blame for this <clears throat> well Wall Street exists I'm putting all these answers into perspective if I can for you Wall Street exists <clears throat> because it's a it's an it's an offshoot of this obfuscation of the currency when you deny people um, their right to issue promissory obligations to fund their enterprise that is to establish a new business if I wanted to go into business doing things that I have had have done in the, in the in the past for instance instead of borrowing any existent money from someone else or new money from the banking system multiply my debts several fold um, you know and, and subjecting myself to perpetual exploitation um, a, a corporation is an, an extension of, of this where you know you're trying to make the same money in circulation work forget another thing so it's pitted against an impro improbability of success in that money which needs to represent other things already must represent a further thing as well this the objects of which both representations can never be um, um, served simultaneously of course and so we deny people representation for their contribution to prosperity and this is a further crime and the, and, and the result is that we're trying to sustain further industry and commerce on a like circulation which just can't work out it's mathematically impossible for all these things to work now on top of that Wall Street is not investing you know daily in the news you hear the lie investors rallied to do this or investors you know sold short on that or you know whatever you know this is not investment even investment is the wrong solution as we've already explained here but this is not investment this isn't even investment all they're doing on Wall Street is they're trading they're trading um, ownership in these corporations as if they should go up in value as much as they're um, taking from trading and this is nothing but mere gambling which doesn't do anything at all to contribute to the sum of prosperity but through further false leverages and deceptions of the people uh, forcibly for instance uh, um, compelling uh, a participation uh, for retirement purposes for instance um, you have a furtherance of, of crimes against the people now Wall Street 
is largely, however, a downstream consequence. Wall Street would go away under mathematically perfected economy because the, the, the very form of corporations wouldn't be necessary any longer. Any endeavor could finance its way into existence for a fraction of the cost even of a corporation because uh, uh, to sell stocks in initial public offering an IPO, which is the only time there's actual investment or a later public offering of new stocks. Um, to do this is to subject the corporation to the cost to stockholders, which don't contribute to any of the production of the company. And so a corporation is an inherently inefficient um, entity uh, in terms of, 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 of profitability because it's carrying these redundant costs of non-contributors to its production which saddled upon the, are saddled upon the co company perpetually. So a corporation is, is, is basically a bad idea. And as we have known corporations, and the next option is greedy corporations, it received 13 votes. Um, uh, as we know corporations, yes, they're disposed to make profit at any cost because that's the very disposition of a stockholder. That is, the greater the dividend uh, and, the, and the greater the artificial value of, of the stock, uh, the greater my return for my, quote, investment, unquote, which, of course, further investments provide nothing to the company whatsoever. They're merely the purchase price for trading ownership of the company, which invests nothing in the company whatsoever. So, you know, all the major news media we know are perpetrators of the lie when they continue to use this um, purposed obfuscation of, of, of investment, calling this investment. It's not investment at all. It's trading. And what are the further costs of this um, in terms of Wall Street and greedy uh, corporations? The further costs are that as we've heard ever since, you know, like particularly since Reagan was president and we we suffered uh, the greatest stock market crash since the, you know, um, collapse in 1929 during Reagan's second term. Uh, what did, uh, how did, how were the markets rescued? Well, the Federal Reserve uh, purchased federal bonds, government securities, um, uh, uh, quelling the fears of the markets and therefore allowing them to persist in this uh, unfettered gambling of, of, of so-called securities. Well, so the cost of artificially sustaining the stock markets is all the federal debt that was accumulated merely to uh, um, um, uh, artificially sustain the finite lifespan of the system beyond um, near-term terminal failure. So all that cost, which includes, of course, uh, you know, the derivatives, fiascos, and, and all that of what the next option is, greedy corporations, which received 13 votes. Um, in other words, an in, insignificant amount of the 2,835 votes cast so far in this poll. These greedy corporations are a huge further cost but indirectly on account of how the stock market or Wall Street is artificially sustained always by um, the Federal Reserve System printing money out of our own promissory obligations and falsifying that to a debt to the central banking system 
in charging us interest. 